it's 2.30 in the morning, first night with a puppy. What am I supposed to do? That may be a question you're asking yourself right now. If you're going to be getting a puppy soon, then this video is going to be for you. Let's talk about how to survive that first night. The thing is, it doesn't have to be like that. So in today's video, we're going to talk about three different things you need to be doing in order to have a successful first night with your puppy and so that you survive. Okay, so for this first thing, there's two key things you need to remember is what kind of supplies do you absolutely have to have for your puppy? And then also even more importantly is how much of those supplies do you need? Now there's a lot of different supplies that you're going to want and there's a lot of supplies that you're going to end up getting. But some of the essential things that you're going to need is going to be, you're going to need some place for them to sleep. You're going to need something to take them out with, you know, a collar, leash, um, probably not a harness, but something of that nature. And then you're going to need something for them to eat. But to bring home that first night, these are the things that we're going to list them right over here of what you actually need to survive that first night which is what we're all about right now, survival of the first night. Okay, so you're gonna need a place for them to sleep. So we recommend crate training, and so I would definitely buy some type of crate. And now as far as how many crates you need, usually one is more than, uh, more than enough for you. However, if you want to place one maybe throughout the house, or maybe if you have an upstairs and a downstairs, something like that, then two definitely wouldn't hurt if you had the funds to cover for two. The next thing you think about is what type of food that you're gonna be feeding for them. Now definitely figure this out beforehand. Um, usually there's a lot of good options out there. Um, I usually recommend to go with some type of easy dry food or canned food over um, more of like a raw diet uh, to start out with. Usually it's gonna be an easier transition for the puppy. Now make sure you get some of the breeder's food um, and usually they'll offer it anyways, but make sure you get some of their food so that you can slowly mix it in and kind of um, give it a little bit at a time until they're just eating all of the food that you selected for them. Um, the reason I don't really recommend raw food up front, unless you are truly experienced with that, is there's a lot of stress you're going to be going through. There's a lot of changes that are going to be happening with having this puppy in your house for you and anyone else living in the house and obviously for the puppy themselves. So make sure that just to keep things consistent, try to get something that's relatively close to what they were already being fed. Or if you like the stuff, then just keep them eating that as well. Now you, you've got a place for them to sleep, you have something to eat. Now you need to be thinking about how you're gonna take them to and um, from places. So when you go to pick them up from the breeder, it's definitely gonna be good to have a collar and some type of leash for them. Um, and some type of carrying case, you know, maybe a, a little travel crate the, to bring them home in, or if you're going to carry them or have someone to be able to hold them, that's obviously is fine as well. But make sure that you have at least two sets of everything. So have you know two collars and have at least two leash, leashes. And if nothing else, I've, I've seen that, especially if it's your first puppy, um, there's a lot of things you're going to forget, and maybe even misplace that you haven't had before. So you may just benefit from having two leashes because one's just going to go missing. You never know. So make sure you do that. Um, and so now, you know, we got the place to sleep, the place to eat, and we got something to take them out. Now, I will say something else you don't want to forget is some type of, you know, if you are going to be doing uh, puppy pads for training, make sure you have those, right? So make sure you have at least two packs of those. Um, and then also some type of spray. That's going to be a lifesaver. Some type of the deterrent, uh, nature miracles, what we use. And that's some type of it basically helps deter them from wanting to pee in the same area. So when you clean up a mess with that, it's supposed to better help uh, deter them for next time versus just normal cleaning solutions. So once you have all your supplies, make sure you take a quick inventory before you go with your puppy. Make sure you haven't forgotten anything and if you need to make that last, you know, last ditch effort around. Well, the next thing you need to think about is you need to have some type of potty training plan. Now there's a lot of different options and a lot of different things, but you need to identify you know, if you're going to be easy using puppy pads or if you're going to be taking them outside or if it's a combination, you kind of need to know that up front as well. So if you're going to be taking them outside, go ahead and go select that spot before you ever bring them home. Now, if you're in an apartment, that may be a certain spot that you can take the um, puppy 
or if you obviously live in some type of house, if you're assuming most likely in the backyard, but kind of find that spot in the backyard that you're gonna to wanna to take them to. Because from the very beginning, you're definitely gonna to want to take them right to that spot. Now we did a whole uh, video all about five different mistakes that um, new owners make when it comes to potty training their miniature pincher. So definitely check that out. We'll link it up right above here. Um, and that will really take you through the whole process and make sure you can avoid some of those early pitfalls. But I would say, like I said, for this video alone, selecting that spot up front and kind of developing that plan, which we go into more detail there, definitely will um, be, help you be more successful on that first night, especially because here's the secret. You're going to be taking them out all night long. So having that spot up front is definitely going to make it where you know where you're going when it's pitch black outside. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way. Hey guys, if you're getting value out of this, and this is the type of videos we do all throughout this channel and we put out a new one each and every week, then please consider subscribing below and also hit that notification bell. That way you get all of the videos as soon as they come out. All right, so for this last thing we wanna talk about here is you wanna think about getting in your dog's head. You wanna think about establishing something for them and understanding where they're coming from, right? So imagine, you know, they've been at a breeder or maybe they've been in a rescue and they kind of had their routine there. Now, especially if they're at a breeder, they've been with their mom, they've been with, you know, most likely other litter mates. And so the first thing you need to think about is establishing that den from them. So we talked about having a crate, right? So make sure you establish that place that they know is gonna be their home and they know that is a safe spot for them. I cannot stress that enough because while you are gonna be anxious and we're talking about survival for us to get through that first night, you gotta remember the puppy, that men pin that you just brought home, that cute puppy, they are gonna be trying to survive as well. So giving them a place, giving them a safe place where they can grow and they can feel as comfortable as possible will definitely pay dividends. So don't forget this ninja tip here. Have the crate set up and have that place where they can go to right away. Don't be fumbling around. Don't be trying to set it up as they're coming through the door. Don't have someone else be setting it up as they come through the door. Have it already done and they know that's where they're gonna go. That will definitely help them feel comfortable and it'll help you feel more comfortable and it will definitely help you avoid what we talked about at the very beginning about being up in the middle of the night and about to claw your eyes out. Set up the den. If you want to talk a little bit more about crate training them and everything, we did a video about you know the truth about crate training and some of the key factors you need to consider when you're going to be crate training your dog, um, which does start from day one. So please check out that video above there after you conclude with this video here. Now, if you're thinking about getting a miniature pincher, the next thing you may be deciding is, do you want a male or do you want a female? Which is a big decision and there are differences. So we did a video, we'll link it right over here. We'll do the top one. And that will be a video that's talking all about the differences between a male and female miniature pinchers. And also we'll include another video that you may wanna watch right down here. Thanks guys for joining us. I will see you next time on Min Pin Nation. Keep surviving.